So when we've got a number in the top line, which has a couple of zeros that we need to exchange across, we follow exactly the same method as we would if we were exchanging across just one zero. So we start off with the units column, zero subtract seven, we need to actually have a few more units in there. So we need to exchange and we look at the next column, which is also a zero. So we can't exchange any tens and we go to the next column. There are no hundreds, so we can't exchange any hundreds. So we stop at the first column where we've got a digit we can exchange. And this is my thousands column. So I can take one of these thousands and I would have 1000 left. And now I have to go to the next column because if I ch exchange 1,000, that's going to give me 10 hundreds. Now I can exchange one of these hundreds and I would have 9 hundreds left. And again, I put that 100 I've got into my tens column. So now I've got 10 tens. I can now take one of those tens leaving nine tens, and I can put that 10 into the units column. And now I can work out that calculation. 10 subtract seven is three, nine subtract eight is one, nine take away six is three, and here I need to exchange again. I've got one take away eight, so I'm going to exchange one of my ten thousands and put that ten thousand into the thousands column. Eleven subtract eight is three and three take away one is two, giving me my answer.